We're going to talk about how to calculate the magnetic force acting on a charged particle moving through a magnetic field. So what we have is a proton which as we know has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. It's moving at a velocity of 4 times 10 to the 5th meters per second. And it's going through a magnetic field that has a value or magnitude of 1.2 Tesla. Tesla is the unit used for magnetic fields. Here's a picture of what we have. The magnetic field is directed into the board. We can see the tail end of the arrow as the arrow enters the board. The proton is moving directly upward and then will enter that magnetic field. First we'll talk about the direction that the proton will take based on the force applied to it when it enters the field. Then we'll calculate the magnitude of that magnetic field. So, using the right hand rule, we can determine the direction of the magnetic force acting on the charged particle. We direct our fingers with the magnetic field, that's into the board. Our thumb will be directed in the same uh, direction as the velocity of the charged particle. And we have a positive particle, so we can use our right hand for this. And then the palm indicates the direction of the force that's being applied to it. So the magnetic force will be to the left. When this enters the magnetic field, this charged particle will start moving like this because of that magnetic force on it. As it gets in that direction, it'll have a force directed this way. So that's why you've got a curved path. We'll get into that more later. Let's look at the magnitude of the magnetic force acting on it. Magnetic force is uh, designated by F sub B. Now, the other day when you worked with that thin wire and the battery and the uh, bar magnet, you can see that when you increase the current going through that thin wire, which increased the charge and the velocity of the charges, and also increased the magnetic force or magnetic field from that bar magnet by putting a couple of them together, they all impacted the force that was acting on the charged particles. Okay, so the force is related to all three of these things. It's also related to the angle theta. Theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. Now in this case, we're going to keep it simple. And we're going to say that theta is at 90 degrees, which it is. Into the board, straight up, so that that angle is 90. Let's go through the calculation and find out what the magnetic force would be in this example. The charge is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. The velocity, 4.0 times 10 to the 5th meters per second. And B, the magnetic field magnitude is 1.2 Tesla. Sine of 90 degrees is 1, so that doesn't affect it this time. If we do this product, 1.6 times 4 times 1.2, I did it earlier, it's 7.68. It's going to be times 10 to the minus 14th, and the units for force are newtons. So that's the magnetic force acting on that proton with that velocity as it goes at right angles to this magnetic field of 1.2 Tesla.